Welcome to Forensics Detectors. I'm Dr. Card. You guess me the gas detector, and today check this out, folks. I'm your confined space detection expert. Confined space, confined space entry. Think of silos, think of tanks, think of tunnels, and think of small spaces where coming in and coming out is sort of restricted. It's sort of restricted. That's actually the definition of a confined space. A very small volume of space where the entry and exit is confined. It's limited. So if something happens, it's hard to come in and come out, folks. Check it out, OSHA. OSHA defines this very well. Look at 29 CFR 1920.146. And there's a whole a plethora of various things employees, workers must do to implement good safety, solid safety measures when it comes to confined space. And that includes measuring using detection equipment to measure the confined space when one is actually in the space and also before entering to measure the space. So what is Dr. Koz talking about? Okay, let's talk detection of confined spaces. Now, everyone knows, most people know a four gas monitor. Four gas monitors are the bread and butter of confined space monitoring. These are basically gas detection pieces of equipment that detect the four most common gases. We're talking about oxygen. We're talking about hydrogen sulfide. We're talking about combustibles, combustibles, methane, propane, and all the other combustibles. And ultimately, we're talking about the most dangerous, which is carbon monoxide. All the four gases are here and protects one 99.99% of the situations of the circumstances that's why these units are so popular in various industries oil and gas industry the waterworks industry and i could go on and on folks okay so these these are ppe items personal protection equipment as you saw dr cos had it on his man right over here it comes with an alligator clip this is our most standard most basic four gas monitor we sell again tons and tons of them or you could pop it on your belt right over here folks now as I mentioned, OSHA. OSHA has various things an employer must do for confined space. There's a whole regiment one must undertake, a worker has to undertake before entering a confined space. That includes measuring the space before entering. And the only way to do that is to do it by sticking your hand in, which is very dangerous. It is incorrect, and it's only sort of restricted to about three or four feet if you've got a long hand like myself. So what do we do? Typically what people do is they obtain an analyzer like this with a built-in pump. You can hear that, folks. It has a built-in pump, so it's drawing the air inside. And what one can do is they can attach a tube and they could take it down to the tunnel, down to the silo. Or they could also attach a probe, like this one over here, folks. It's extendable up to four feet. And you could also attach it up to the analyzer, like so. And you could do checking of your confined space before entering. And again, the tubing is extendable up to 20 to 30 feet. So it's not a problem at all. A lot of people actually put a long line of tubing with a weight at the end and they drop it down on the tunnel, down in the tank to check the gases at various depths because it's something called gas stratification and at various depths there are different gradients of gas concentration so you have to take check all the depths folks because different gases have different molecular weights so they stagnate at various um, levels relative to the other gases present in the confined space so sometimes people take a sample at the top they think it's good but they go down another 10 feet and they're in big trouble folks they're in big trouble because all the heavier gases like carbon dioxide and others have stagnated to the bottom and the oxygen's on top and in that situation they face an oxygen depletion problem folks so there are many situations and i highly recommend people look at the osha website they've investigated a lot of these safety issues and they give some very good recommendations first and that's what dr cos does in his pastime he loves reading those case studies when it comes to confined space and safety now the last thing i like to mention are the um are the constant or what we call the fixed gas monitors Let me just pop it around like this and as you could see it looks very complicated folks and a little intimidating we have 
the manifold over here and this detects the four gases, but in a more permanent fixture, which is what we call a fixed gas monitor. You can just pop it on the wall and leave it there permanently. So this is good for those situations where you have a little cabin or a little um, closet or a room it's confined so the entry and exit is limited and you want to continuously monitor the gases the safety of that environment and we do that with this guy so that would prevent anyone from having to do a sample before entering one could just look from a distance and make sure it's not alarming which then confirms the volume of space is safe to enter so this is a continuous permanent fixture in your confined space and a lot of various industries use this product folks again it's quite nice the sensors are at the bottom here the buzzer is here with the alarm and as you could see it always has a display showing the gas concentrations of the four gases that we discussed folks it's a very nice unit so those are the three monitors that covers about 95% of all the applications when it comes to confined space situations, folks. Now, I would like to add a few other things. Look, we're here in Los Angeles, California. All the monitors are calibrated to NIST traceable sources, folks. You get your calibration certificate. So if the safety officer comes and asks you, where's your calibration certificate? It's right over here. We also offer calibration services and videos how to do it yourself. You could send it to us or you could do it yourself. It's not a problem. We've got everything covered, folks, no matter what situation you are in. Again, certificate comes and we recommend, again, another important point, Dr. Kaz is getting excited. Six to 12 months regular calibration. That's our recommendation. No different to many other gas detection companies. That's the heuristic. That's the rule of thumb. Six to 12 months. And make sure you bump test before using, before your day's operation of your monitors, folks. Bump test on a very regular basis to make sure your equipment is working. The previous person may have dropped it, may have done something precarious that renders the gas detector inoperable. You do not know. So that's why bump testing is very important before you're undertaking a very important sample. Or oh, I recommend bump test daily. Look, I hope that helps folks. Be well, hug your children, hug your parents, and stay safe. See you soon.